Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today, because let's face it, the winter is nice and everything, but we're missing summer. So I thought we'd bring you something summery. So if you want to see how I created this look on this eye, keep watching. Hey, welcome back to the intro. So let's get some Pillowies base on my eye. Just going to use my finger because I can. And plus it's easier, in my opinion. So today I will be using the Made by Mitchell Where the Mangoes palette. Because someone in the comments said they wanted to see it. And I don't know if they wanted to be named. So I won't say their name just now. But if you do want to be, let yourself be known in the comments. Yeah, and this palette and the colour that I've chosen, it kind of reminds me of Iron Brew, my favourite drink. It's hard to describe what that tastes like, uh, it's just nice. I won't be doing a full face today because I don't feel like it. I just want to play with some colour pigments. Right. So, here is the palette. <laughs> Try that side, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Vibrant, isn't it? Let's get one for the thumbnail. <laughs> the things I do for you. Right, so I'm going to go in to begin with with Summer Sour. Just to get things started. So how are you all doing on this very fine, dull, dark, wet, windy, cold Sunday? Who says autistic people are crap? At describing things. And that's a great descriptor. Bracket S. So I was watching another YouTuber. I can't remember her name. I think it was Alexandra or something. And she was talking about makeup for deep set eyes. And I followed her tutorial. Or their tutorial. I'm not sure what their pronouns are, so we'll just go with they. That's what happens when you're unsure. You go with they, them, theirs. Well, in an ideal world. And, yeah, I used that tutorial for this eye. Well, I adapted it, but I used the fundamentals. I was reading yesterday, because I really like this. Comedian, social media person, and TV presenter Judy Love. She, oh, I'm so excited because she's coming to Edinburgh and I'm so excited I'm going to see her next year. She's funny as F, honestly. If you want to laugh, go and follow her. She's Judy with an I. J-U-D-I. Love, Judy Love. Oh, she, just go and watch her. Yeah, she's just hysterical. Yeah. Yeah, so at this tutorial they were saying to, when you've got deep set eyes, to keep the inner portion light and then dark on the outside. And then, yeah, she was saying, well, if you've got like a quite a, a lot of space between here and your nose, because I've got like three quarters of an inches, real inches, not men's inches. That's a, a fair bit. I was going to put the tree up today, but this is the first Sunday that me and my husband have had together in, well, I don't even know how long, so we've just been chilling today and chatting and, you know, making plans for next year, which isn't that far away now. I can't believe we're nearly in 2023. Oh my God. Like... <sighs> Again, I keep saying it every single year, it's went so quickly. I think... Conspiracy theory. I think somehow, somewhere, someone has sped up time. I do, I honestly do. It's just gone too quickly. Right, so that's that colour applied. Where's my other brush? Oh no, I can just use this brush because it's silver colours. Right. 
So I'm going to go into ripened, that more intense iron brew coloured orange. Try and remember my placement. I always find it easier to work with the right eye than the left. Do you find that? Also, the things that I do for you, orange is like my least favourite colour. I don't know why, it just is okay. Then again, I'm just dragging it to the outer edge to make it nice and soft. I'm on a finger. A finger this finger. I'm going to go into ready. Where is it? Ready to go. That orange shimmer. Very bright. Ooh, it's shiny. I mean, it's orange, but it's shiny. I know some people say, don't use makeup with your fingers. I'm like, well, why not? It's my face. I've still got enough autonomy that I can do what I want with my face. Government's not stopped that yet. Let's drag it to the outside as well, but we'll clean that up afterwards, so don't worry. Do it right now, actually. This is a bit of cotton wool that I have soaked with mis micellar water, micellar water. There's a mice in micellar water, micellar water. Yeah, I did a green look earlier, uh, but, you know, which is just recycle. Now for the, in a bit, I'm going to go into soft skin to make it nice and light because it opens it up. No, let's get a little bit funky for the lash line and the underneath bit. I'm going to go into both Juicy and Fuchsia feels. So a little dab into both. And I like to use an angle brush for this part because it's just easier for me. So just dab that on there. Oh no, there's a step I've missed. My bad. I'm just going to take some of the orange with this little dense brush. As we get into the inner corner, I'll just go with the yellow, which has proven a little difficult to use, but I hear that yellows often are. Right, and then dipping back into those two purples. Dab that on, and then we're going to fluff it out in a minute. Good. 
Give me fruit cocktail vibes. Then on the very outer corner under under lashes, bottom lashes, whatever, I'm just gonna use that very deep one actually before we do that. Let's give it a little blend. On the very outside, stamp on that really dark, juicy color shade, whatever. Is that matching? Matchy, matchy? Yeah. Yeah, I won't fluff that way because I want the intensity of that colour to stay there. No, give me a second. I'm going to go and get some mascara. Then you go anywhere. Is that annoying? That's sometimes how I really speak. Because people don't understand my accent sometimes. <laughs> Haven't I refined it ever so well? Maybelline Sky High, as usual. Love this stuff. Probably always will. Make a funny face. Also, I'm hoping this video will do well because when I've been trying to find videos, well, tutorials for deep set eyes but colourful makeup, there isn't any. It's all beige and brown. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but I don't really like those pitiful excuses for colours. So I hope this helps someone. Can you hear that? The bathroom extractor pan has just gone on itself. Nothing too spooky, it's just it's... It comes on automatically when it senses there's too much moisture. When you're a bit... When the walls are a bit too wet, or when the airs are a bit too wet. Right! i to use this lip gloss stuff beam. I'm not sure how it's going to look, and this one's in the colour Candy Cute. I mean, I know it's pink, but I just fancy pink. All right, don't judge me. No smell to it. Ah. <gasps> Um, not sure what I think of this. Quite sticky. Yeah, that's certainly a look. So we've got like oranges, pineapple. What fruit is pink? You can tell me in the comments. Yeah, should we do a blush? Blush. Actually, I've got one that will match the lips. I said I got another pressed blush. Blush pressed, it says, actually. And it's in the shade Milkshake. Rather pretty. Yeah, let's have a let's have a go at that yen. Yen means one in Scottish. Am I educating people now? Don't know if it's necessary necessarily a blush brush, and I don't want to really intensely. Well, I'll just use this, and it's a P Louise seven four five brush. Does she have seven hundred and forty five different brushes? Well, watch this. Bit dusty. Yes, that brush is just coming out. A subtle blush effect. It's 
It's got that nice, I love the smell of powder. Powder makeup. Oh, I like that colour. And it does kind of blur. What do you reckon? Oh, I like that shade. It would look even nicer if I had no foundation and things on, but I'm not doing that today because I can't be bothered. I'm just not feeling it. And you don't need to wear a full face of makeup if you don't want to. Alright? Alright? That's how the straight boys talk. Alright, how you doing? I... I'm just going up to the shop. Oh god, that feels so unnatural. <laughs> Excel. Okay, that's a bit less sticky now that I've been wearing it for a bit. Oh. Right. Of course, what am I going to say next? Mm? Come on. I know I can't hear you, but I'll feel you. Tell me. I'm waiting. Yeah, that's it. Highlight. Hang on. Go with the pink highlight. Pink. No, to go with the pink blusher. <laughs> pink highlight. Ofra's pillow talk. And I'll use this P. Louise 721 brush. Isn't that cute? And it feels it feels soft as a rabbit. Kind of like a bunny rabbit's tail. I hope it's not made from bunny rabbits. That would be devastating. It's not looking intense enough. There's Christmas. Why is it? Come on! Ofra, usually you're really good. Oh, here, now we're getting started. Let's look wet. Let me just check that I've done everything so that people will say, You missed that bit! Not that you do ever say that, I just think that in my mind. So, yeah, mascara, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Oh, I like. Yeah, very summer vibes, even though it's winter. So, I hope this has warmed you up, and I hope this has inspired you to create your own. Gorgeously bold, colourful looks. Uh, what do I think of this palette? Not that I'm a complete makeup connoisseur, but you could do a lot with that. And I intend doing a lot with this. So, let me know if you want to see an all-purple look, a pink look, a green look, a blue look, or a... Can't think of any other words, so whatever other look. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I like how it's nicely textured and embossed and raised. Yes, it's a very nice palette. Very nice. One for the children, yes. Not for the old people. Actually, that's wrong. Because makeup is for any age, any gender, any background, any skin colour, any one. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're taking care of yourself, lots of self-care. I hope you've been kind to yourself and others. And I shall see you again very soon for another Vlogmas. Even though this has been all about makeup and not really about Christmas. But thanks for watching anyway. Take care. See you soon.